Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am in the bedroom. I am in front of my wardrobe because today I wanted to do sort of a wardrobe reorganization kind of video. Now I did one of these videos last year where I kind of went through my wardrobe and yeah, basically gave it a reorganization just so that I felt re-inspired and that my whole wardrobe just felt refreshed and I feel like that is super important. It's, it's really important that you feel inspired and uplifted when you enter your wardrobe. So um, as many of you know, I am attempting to do a no buy challenge this year. I've even made a complete challenge checklist and a challenge tracker for the challenge this year. Basically, I'm just so satisfied with what I have in my wardrobe and I feel like it's really time to step back and just enjoy it for a while. So I will leave a link to the challenge checklist and the daily challenge tracker down below as well. We will have a focus for each month. So this month is all about reorganizing your wardrobe. So that's why I'm sharing this video with you. Um, I'm not going to reorganize a lot of things within my wardrobe because as I just mentioned, I did do that last year and I feel like I'm actually pretty satisfied with um, the whole, the structure within my wardrobe, but there are definitely a few tweaks I would like to make here and there, which I'm going to walk you through today. And then I'm definitely going to give my wardrobe a deep clean as well. I'm going to hoover the shelves, I'm going to wipe the shelves, and then I might go through some of my storage boxes as well. So I think I've mentioned this before, but winter is definitely one of my least favorite seasons to get dressed for. What I wear on those days is basically a jumper and a pair of jeans. And that's fine, you know, it's a, it's a lovely base and it's something that I definitely do my best to dress up a bit more and make it a bit more personal, a bit more exciting. Um, but again, I feel like during winter you just have to layer up so much so that... Um, you don't really get to express yourself as much as you do during spring, for example, or autumn, when you can layer up in a different way. So I feel like winter is often the season where I will go through my storage boxes in the middle of the season if I feel a bit uninspired. And you know, that's an amazing way to shop your own wardrobe and to just go through what you already have. Maybe there's some items in there that you've forgotten about or just some items that you wanna bring out again. There are definitely some items that I packed away from the autumn season that I'm thinking about bringing back out. Just because again, I would like to have a few more options to style up this rather boring jeans and jumper combination. Enough of me blabbering, I think we should just get into it. I've got my photo lamp set up over there because even though it's 10 30 in the morning right now it's super dark outside so i will be needing a bit of extra light also got myself a bit of sparkling water here with some mint leaves so this is the current state of my wardrobe i think it looks all right as it is right now uh, there are a few special occasion pieces in here which Last year I actually ended up taking those down, folding them up and then putting them in this drawer right here. I still have some occasion wear in here in the back and the reason for doing that is simply that I don't have a lot of occasions to go for. So I really want like the main contents of my wardrobe to just be my everyday wear, what I can wear here and now and then sort of pack everything else away so that I don't get distracted or disturbed too easily. Um, I keep my occasion wear shoes out here because I often actually if I have a special occasion to go, I would actually often just wear something I would normally wear for an everyday purpose and then just spice it up with a lovely pair of shoes. I do also have some extra pieces down here that I dug out from storage, like this sparkly top because we just went through the festive season in December and this seems to be a piece that I bring out every, every year basically. So now that it's January, I'm definitely gonna... Um, take those out, pack them up, and then save them for next year. Right, so now I only have jeans and trousers in this um, compartment right here, which I think is nice. Um, I've actually ended up taking away all of the occasion wear that I had in that little, in the back of the compartment right here. And now I've just folded it all up and put it down in the back of this drawer. This is my basic top. So this is what I will wear 
either on its own during summer or underneath um, shirts and jumpers during the winter times, which is some lovely layering kinds of tops. And then I have all of my slightly dressier items in here, which I, again, only tend to wear if I have a special occasion coming up. So we have a silk cami here, we have a lace top, we have another shirt, and then um, I have my little black dress. Sorry, it's hard to see because there's a lot of black. Um, and then I have a pair of tailored trousers in the bottom there. Um, and then I have just taken out a few pieces from that occasion wear pile like this so cami right here one of the straps has come off so i will need to fix that and then um, this one is an old vintage silk shirt if you're a regular you might have seen this before but the um button right here actually came off so i'll need to fix that as well kind of have this rule of thumb that i don't leave pieces in my wardrobe unless they are absolutely ready to be worn so any items like this, I will take them out, I will put them in a pile somewhere in the house, actually leave them like in a very obvious place where they'll annoy me <laughs> and kind of remind me that I need to fix these items. Um, and then essentially once they're done, I will put them back into the wardrobe. Then over here I have two piles that I'm going to pack away. I have two skirts. This is a skirt that I bought back in spring or was it summer? I think maybe it was summer last year kept it out because I thought maybe if I had a special occasion coming up where I'd be able to wear it, I wanted to keep it out. Same as with this uh, black pleated skirt here, but truth of the matter is I haven't worn them at all. I tend to go for my pants this time of year, even for special occasions. So I'm gonna store those away and then I'm gonna store away this sparkly sort of festive kind of top. So let's have a look inside of the wardrobe again here. Not much of a difference obviously, but Something I am considering doing is actually taking all of my necklaces here and then um, hang them up on a few hooks on this wall right here. So you can see in the wardrobe, there's sort of like a space here between this piece and then the compartments here. So this is actually a piece of wall basically. And then I could hang up my necklaces instead. So I like this way of storing them, but I feel like I do have quite a few different necklaces. And sometimes when I need them also rather fast, um, if I'm in a hurry, they end up getting a bit tangled like this. And really it's better to keep them more separate. Um, so that is definitely what I'm going to do. I'm going to see if Morten can help me with that later today when he gets home from work. I'm going to go through all of my watches as well. I do have some bits in here that sort of need to be decluttered. I think I'm also going to be going through my... Whoop, can't do that one-handed. Ah gonna go through my slightly hefty nightwear slash loungewear drawer as well. Maybe I'm gonna see if I can find some space for that in here. Um, the reason why I packed it away into this drawer is basically that it's it's not very inspiring keeping your loungewear on display, is it? So I, I really just wanted to pack it away. Maybe there are a few pieces that I could put into storage here. Um, or maybe even if I have some really, really old night t-shirts, I could declutter those. I'm definitely one of those people who will sort of downgrade pieces in my wardrobe that I tend not to wear or that I feel like detoxing and then use that for other purposes. So that could be gardening or cleaning, painting, anything like that, or as loungewear or nightwear. So I do have some pieces down there that are very old that I could definitely detox just to make a bit more room. So as you can see, what I've done now is I've just brought out all of the necklaces and then I put in the watches into this compartment instead. Just uh, took away all of the silver pieces of my jewelry and just placed it over here. I'm gonna um, store that away in a little jewelry pouch just because I definitely wear my gold jewelry more. Again, if you followed me for some time, you might know that I i um, a creative director of my own brand together with Stillnest, so I have co-created a whole jewelry collection. So mainly the reason why I have a lot of silver pieces is because that we use them for photo shoots and stuff. 
um, but again I don't really tend to wear those I definitely think that gold suits me better and that's what I wear mostly so just as with my capsule wardrobe it just doesn't make sense to me to have a lot of pieces out that I don't really wear so I'm gonna pack away the silver pieces and then bring back in the gold pieces one thing to take into consideration when you're storing jewelry is that if you have a uh, if you store them in a room where the humidity is quite high you want to make sure to store it in closed boxes and that is definitely something I am considering um, in our old house it was never really a problem because it was a newer house but in this house um, because it's rather old it's from the the 60s the end of the 60s and the humidity here is just a lot different obviously we're in the bedroom right now and often when we when we sleep in here the humidity will rise a bit and I can definitely see that on some of my pieces they will oxidize a bit meaning that I will have to clean them a lot more often so um, might have a no see online to see if I can find some nice um, closed kind of jewelry boxes to store those away but for now I'm just gonna use what I already have but that's definitely something I am considering So I've actually reorganized my wire baskets here. So um, I used to have all of my silk scarves and accessories here, but there are a few of those scarves that I wear very rarely. Um, and then I just have an extra wallet in the back here. I've just stored those away in one of the boxes that I'm gonna put in the back together with my jewelry travel pouch. This one is from Etsy um, and it's just genius. I love it. Um, you can just sort of uh, fasten all of your necklaces here and then attach them so that they won't get tangled and then you'll just sort of fold it up, wrap it up and then it's ready to take with you. Um, so that's in that basket, just a few extra hangers as well and then in this basket right here which I'm gonna pop down here together with the rest of this stuff, I just need to rearrange it a bit. Um, I have um, some cashmere combs, I have um, a Chanel certification card there for my vintage Chanel bag, just some bits and bobs. I have the um, charger bit for my fabric shaver. So that's going to go in the back of that shelf right there. And then in the back here I have swimwear. So that's already shoved in the back. Um, and then in the two wire baskets here I have my belts as I've had all the time. So they're gonna stay there and then in this one I've just uh, pulled out my um, sort of like wardrobe care bits that are the ones that I use most frequently. I obviously have shoe care bits as well but the things for that is in one of the cupboards in our entrance hall because that's really where I'll use that when I'm leaving the house and I just want to freshen up my shoes so that's where I keep those items. So here I've got a steamer. This one is from Steamery. It's actually one of their new steamers. And just as a disclaimer, they sent me this as a Christmas gift. Um, it's a brand I really appreciate. They also made my fabric shaver. And I know that their products are a bit pricey, but I just love their whole aesthetics. I love, obviously, the function of their pro products. But I just think that the fact that their products look good as well just make the whole wardrobe care situation feel a lot more special. So it's sort of a, a, a hybrid between a fabric steamer and a, a normal, like, Iron. With a few of my silk scarves, I actually ended up hanging those up here on a few um, trouser hangers just because I really want to sort of force myself to use these more frequently and I think that especially this one, this is a um, silk scarf that I bought pre-loved from Giorgio Armani last year on West Year Collective and I just think the colors um, suit me so well, to, <laughs> if I do say so myself. And um, yeah, I just think a scarf is such a lovely way to finish up your outfits. Um, you can wrap it around your neck or on a handbag. So I just went out into the garage to see if I can find some hooks. And I found these little white hooks, which um, just so happens to fit perfectly on the inside of the wardrobe here. There are these little holes that are pre-made so that you are able to move the shelves up and down inside of the, the wardrobe and sort of customize everything. 
Um, and I think I'm actually gonna go with this solution instead of putting the hooks into the actual wall over here, especially since I can always just take these out again. Um, and if I do end up buying some like closed jewelry storage boxes, then I would be able to just take those back out and you know, I won't end up having holes in the walls or a, a bunch of hooks I don't know what to, to put to use for. necklaces look quite good on display there so I've just got my longer necklaces here and then I've got shorter necklaces with these bigger pendants and then at the bottom here I've got a choker necklace and then just some like loose necklaces I've got one with a bit more of um, a couple of more dainty pendants there and then this shelf right here actually just moved it up a bit because I really want to buy um, some more of these shoe storage boxes. So these are super, super old from Ikea um, and they actually still make them. They're also super dirty as you can see there towards the back. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go get the Hoover in a minute um, and then just, yeah, proceed with the cleaning of the whole wardrobe space. But I am definitely gonna see if I can buy two extra boxes for shoe storage because I do have um, several shoes stored in some of the boxes here and that's not really ideal. Hi Oscar. What's this kid? Yeah, we're so glad for stoke so well. show you guys that inside of all of my bags I keep these um, canvas bags. Many brands tend to send their items in these kind of reusable, reusable bags and just to be able to put those to good use. I do also use them for traveling to wrap up my shoes and bags and to use for like laundry dirty clothes while I'm traveling. Um, but when I'm not using those I will use them for my handbags just to make sure that they keep in shape up there. Um, so just a little tip if you have a lot of these canvas bags lying around and you want to put them to good use Pop them into your handbags. So just to give you a brief final run through of my wardrobe There it is in all its glory again. It's not looking all that different probably to you guys um, But I can definitely feel that I've done something in here. So um, We've got storage up here got my everyday handbags with those like dust bags inside to keep them in shape. I've got all of my knitwear folded over there. I have the cream jumper that I just dug out of storage. I have blazers, shirts, different sorts of tops up here. Have all my jeans and pants over here. I have those silk scarves at the end there. Just wanted to show you actually another item um, that I'm gonna add to my current winter capsule. Um, is this shirt that I received as a gift from Colorful Standard. So if you don't know this brand, they make um, sustainable wardrobe staples in all sorts of different lovely colors. And I just know that this color is gonna suit me and my color type. This is one of the exceptions I have on my no buy list as well, that working with a small handful of slow fashion brands is allowed as well. I'll definitely do my best not to bring in a lot of new items, but this shirt, I just know that I'm gonna be wearing this shirt a lot also during the summertime. I think it's gonna look nice with a pair of white jeans, for example. So I think this is a nice um, light colored addition to my otherwise sort of dark colored winter wardrobe. Occasion wear shoes. And then my stored shoes, like off-season shoes. I've got some of my most frequently worn shoes down here. And then the rest is in the entrance hall. Actually just dug out my leather loafers as well. I ended up um, packing those away for the winter season. Um, wore them all the time during autumn. And I thought it was gonna be too cold during winter, but I think, you know, if I'm just going to the office, if I'm not really gonna be outside, 
I actually really want to be able to wear those because they're so dressy and I just think they make any outfit look, yeah, just a lot more dressy, a lot more fun. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can wear those a bit during the winter season, otherwise I will definitely be able to wear those during um, the spring season again. Maybe I can wear them with a bit of a, like a nylon anklet sock in there just to keep me a bit extra warm. Then I've just put my Acne Jensen boots here. Um, I, if you saw my uh, winter capsule video, you might know that I actually bought a kind of like a substitute for those. I bought a pair of lace-up winter boots. They're not as dressy. I love those boots. I wear them all the time, but they're very casual. So I'm definitely looking for a replacement for these boots. I've had these for, I think, six years. They've been to the um, cobblers countless times, bought them pre-loved myself, and I can definitely still wear these. Like, they're, it's not like I can't wear these, but they're just not looking their best anymore. I definitely feel like they are starting to look very worn out and yeah I just don't feel as great when I wear them anymore so these might be one of the few items that I actually end up finding a replacement for this year just because I have worn these so much they they suit my lifestyle they suit my style and it's just such a good everyday slash special occasion kind of boot and I'm sort of missing that in my wardrobe as it is right now and then I'm just gonna save these for like events if I'm going to a festival for example I love wearing dresses with boots so these would be a kind of pair that I would definitely save for purpose or an occasion like that. I've got my sportswear in this drawer underneath that. Then I've got those wire baskets that I showed you before. I've got all of my wardrobe care bits, my belts. I've got swimwear in the back there. I've got extra hangers and um, less worn accessories like little scarves and stuff in the back of that shelf. I've got all of my sunglasses, I've got my watches, all of my earrings, I've got my socks and underwear drawer here with these, um, these are just organizers also from Ikea, super old but very handy. It's not looking super neat but it's definitely structured, like I definitely know where things are, <laughs> so that's enough for me. Then I've got my loungewear slash nightwear drawer here got some, um, these are sort of my stay-at-home pants. I've got a pair of jeans. I wore these all the time when I were, uh, when I was on um, maternity leave. <laughs> so these are very, very worn out now. They have a busted knee and they're just perfect for when we're just staying at home and I'm playing around with the little one on the floor. The same with these. These are sort of like a more nice pair of loungewear bottoms that I can also wear outside of the house. And I've just got some sweatshirts here. I've got my nightwear over here. Just a quick comment about having sort of like stay at home clothes. Um, I'm a huge advocate for just, you know, dressing up even if you're staying at home. But one thing that I've learned since becoming a mom is how worn out your bottoms will get. Because you spend so much time on the floor with the little one. I, I mean, I do at least. I'm crawling around on the floor, I'm playing with her on the floor, and I just find that the knees on many of my trousers are starting to get sort of worn out. So I really want to protect my, my nicer looking clothes like that. So I've sort of downgraded a pair of jeans that um, I can wear around the house, but they're nice enough to be able to wear when I leave the house as well. Um, so that's my way of sort of working around that. And then if I'm wearing, you know, a delicate item like this one, on the top half, I will make sure to either wear an apron or I will just change clothes. Like if we're leaving the house and I want to look nicer than I do when I'm at home, I will just simply just change. So that's sort of like my compromise on taking better care of my nicer clothes when I'm just staying at home, playing around with my girl. So that is it for today's video guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Just a slightly more laid back kind of a vlog and not a huge difference but I hope it gave you some inspiration on reorganizing your own wardrobe. Every time I open these doors I just can't wait to put together my next outfit and I think that's the whole purpose. You know you want to have items in your wardrobe that spark joy just to phrase Marie Kondo. 
Um, so yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as well. I would love to have you around. Don't forget to participate in the Nothing New 22 over on Instagram so that we can keep each other motivated and inspired. I am gonna run off, have some lunch now. Thank you all so much for watching. Take care and I will see you very soon for another video. Bye guys. Bye.